the Daimler Art Collection is one of the oldest and um, most well-renowned corporate art collections in Europe. And uh, this space is part of this old uh, Weinhaus Hut. It's the only old remaining building at Potsdamer Platz. And we opened this space in 1998. So it was one of the really early um, uh, spaces for corporate uh, collections in Berlin. And uh, the space is open seven days a week. We show three exhibitions a year uh, around uh, themes uh, coming out of the Daimler Art Collection. And I'm the curator for the Daimler Art Collection and uh, because we do more exhibitions worldwide and I'm the curator also of this exhibition which you see today here. Uh, the exhibition we open today, um, Surfaces and Pattern, um, um, Conceptual Art and Applied, is number three in a series of exhibitions which we started in 2007 because the Daimler Arch Collection is very much interested in abstract tendencies of 20th century art on the border to applied fields. So we were always interested in artists who all also have been working in the field of graphic design, furniture design, architecture. Uh, so this is a, a, a huge spectrum and what we show today is a selection of uh, designers and architects from the 1960s and 70s in a combination with contemporary young art. Um, we have two um, aspects um, regarding the older part of uh, uh, designers and architects. One is surrounded um, around the work of, on the one hand, Lina Bobardi. She was one of the really famous Italian, then South American architects, museum curators, graphic designers, uh, fashion designers. It's a wonderful broad work, so we are showing part of her work. We are showing uh, work by Joe Ponti, the same from Italy, starting in the 1950s with furniture design, architecture, etc., and from Germany, Egon Eiermann. On the other hand, we have early conceptual artists like Sol Lewitt and from Israel, Benny Efrat. So this is like the historical basis, 60s, 70s. And just to mention a few names from the contemporary field, we are showing a piece by Haris Epaminonda, um, which she uh, showed last year at Documenta in Kassel uh, with uh, small items uh, in a vitrine. We are showing a huge installation by the young Italian artist Luca Trevisani, which has been especially developed for the space here at House Hut, or Natalia Czech from Germany. You can discover young contemporary artists. point was, I mean, I'm always starting with the contemporary art. And what I could follow in the last years is that young contemporary artists, on the one hand, are probably more interested in uh, protagonists from the design history of 20th century art than uh, by uh, heroes of the art history of 20th century. So they get much more inspiration regarding surfaces and pattern, which is the subtitle of the show, regarding materials, uh, re regarding processes. They get much more inspiration, you know, from the world of, of design and architecture than often than from contemporary art. So this is the starting point. And then I start with the contemporary art. I look, you know, into their work. I can see what they are following, what they're doing. And from this inspiration, again, I, you you know, make research to bring together, you know, these kind of, let's say, sources. So it's, and, and, and if you go through the exhibition, you can discover uh, lines, let's say, of, of inspiration and ideas. Many artists are working with um, language, literature. Um, other artists are working with forms like um, the sphere, um, the, the circle, um, the net. So, you know, you can discover for formal correspondences in the exhibition. So, as a visitor, you will clearly get, uh, let's say, this uh, dialogue between contemporary art and early. You will get it visually. I mean, you can read the text on the wall, but you will get visually this dialogue, you know, spanning 50 to 60 years. <laughs> 